Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead on porch time today. Yes, I'm sitting outside and it is cold. It is cloudy. It is dreary. It's one of those days. Um, had a lot of rain come in the last couple of days, but that's life in the south. We go from 80 degrees to 30 degrees all the time. So, nothing new for us. But, and yes, I'm cold. Um, but anyway, guys, ah, topic for the day. Guess what today is? Drama. It seems like every way we turn, it's drama. What in the world is wrong with us? This is the crazy thing. Go back and study history. Anytime you have a civilization about to collapse, you always have drama. I mean, just look, the old Roman Empire, uh, the big amphitheaters, they would take people out and watch them be torn to bits by the animals and stuff like that because they needed the thrill. They needed the drama in order to be happy because people had reached a point in life where just living peacefully wasn't good enough anymore. They wanted more. They wanted excitement. They wanted to have something different. Everything had to be more exciting than the thing before. And guys, we're, we're no different in this country today. I mean, look around. Look at the media. Everywhere you turn, I quit watching news. I refuse to watch news. I literally refuse to watch the news. I don't even watch TV. We don't even turn our TV on anymore because it's all drama. Uh, there was a mass shooting at this school over here, or there was a bad train wreck, or there's a fire over here. There's the tornadoes tore up everything. Yeah, guys, the more something can be blown out of proportion, it seems like the more we feed on it, and you want to know something that really irritates the hell out of me? YouTube has become the same exact thing. I've got where I've quit watching most channels. Because when I look at them now, it's like, oh, my dog just did this. Or, oh my God, what just happened? You know, they have all these, oh, everything's drama. You know, uh, it's like clickbait city everywhere. And that's not why I started doing YouTube. I mean, one and I talk about this all the time. We look at, you know, there's all these weird faces that people make. And there's all of the, um, the oh my God, drama. You know, uh, so-and-so just fell off the roof. And, or what just happened? You know, all this kind of st stupid stuff just to get you to watch. And, guys, if, if I've got to do that to get you to watch me, then uh, I guess I got no business doing YouTube or something. I don't know because, to me, you know, we create videos to, to put out information to... To help, uh, you know, to help people learn about the homesteading lifestyle. I see so many people talk about living the homesteading lifestyle. And it's, it's all drama. You know, I mean, what happened to just living? Whatever happens just happens. I mean, it's life. Do we have to make it into something like drama you know I mean like oh my god my, what just happened to my animals or, or guys I'm, I'm tired of all that you know a lot of people have told me um, Danny I'm so glad that you and Wanda keep it real and thank y'all because we try to keep it real now occasionally we may do a funny video I've done the dehydrated water one and you know, something like that. But 
occasionally we just we like to have a video that that makes people laugh and we may do something silly but as a whole from deep south homestead our desire is to just make quality videos that has some sort of nuggets in it for someone to learn from. The last thing we're out here to do is to create videos that are all about drama. You know, does things happen here on my homestead? Yeah, we have tragedies on the homestead. We have uh, our corn blow down. Like one year, all of our corn blew down. Um, we called it tragedy on the homestead because it was a tragedy. Because simple fact of the matter is. That was part of our food for the year. And when you don't go to the grocery store and buy a part of your food to eat and you raise 100% of what you eat, uh, yeah, anything that happens to your food source is a tragedy. Last year we lost all of our green beans because it just didn't grow. We planted them three times. We didn't do some kind of stupid clickbait, you know, trying to get people's sympathy on that. We put out educational videos as much as we can and that's one reason we went over to Patreon is because to get away from uh, so much foolishness <clears throat> maybe where we could actually make a decent video and, and tell the truth and tell it like it is and have the people go over there who wanted to go over there who were interested in hearing the truth and, and it not have to be watered down. You know, uh, guys, this is, this is where we're at in our country today. We're at a point to where we can't be happy anymore with just simple life. We've become a nation of people that thrive on tragedies and that's sad because what that tells me is our country is is uh, is on the verge of collapse. Because historically speaking, if you go back and study, like I said, all the other countries, you will realize the same exact thing happened to all major empires before they collapsed. And it's sad to know that we're there. I'm not sad for me. I'm sad for the generations that come after me and what they're going to have to endure and what they're calling, quote unquote, the norm, you know. Uh, we've, we've all come to a point, uh, and one of, I guess, one of the major things that people really come down on us here at Deep South Homestead about is my hair. We live in a society that is so politically correct that if you don't look a certain way, then something must be wrong with you. And guys, there could be nothing any further from the truth. Um, if you go back and do the historical study, it's not until really recently, and I say recently, I say within the last hundred years, that man even wears their hair short. You know, before then, if you wore short hair, you, uh, you, had, you owed a debt to society. Um, you were uh, of a different lifestyle. Let me use those words. I can't actually use the words I'd like to use. Um, there's, you know, there were reasons why you were, you wore your hair very short. And they weren't good reasons. Okay, let's put it that way. Uh, so, <clears throat> and when one of us tend to go back to that lifestyle, simply because today the world that we live in um, says that you have to be a certain way in order to fit into this society. Uh, I have people around me here, we talk about this on a regular basis, about how that if you work for certain corporations, you have to do what they say. You have to look like they say you look. You have to dress a specific way. That's communism, okay? Um, I refuse to live that lifestyle. I'm going to do what I want to do, the way I want to do it, when I want to do it. And I don't care, as the old saying goes, uh, I don't care if it hair lips the county I live in, because I don't care. You know, you're going to find out something about me real quick, like, I really don't care. 
Uh, I don't care what people think. I don't. I just don't care. I live my life. I'm going. I don't want to leave this world having any regrets. Um, I've almost been killed two, three times in my life, and I've had people die in my arms. And when you've experienced these things, you realize just how short and how precious life is, and that drama plays absolutely no part in true happiness. And what you look like plays no part in true happiness. It's all a social status, is all that it is. And just live your life. Enjoy yourself. Get rid of the drama out of your life. Try to quit watching the news for a while. And see how much happier you become. See how much more of a peaceful lifestyle it is to just turn the TV off. Because all it's doing is stealing your precious time. You ever stop to think how many hours of your life when you get to the end of it has been sat in front of a television? How many hours do you watch TV a day? One, two, three hours a day, something like that. You sit down and watch a TV program every night, a movie. Multiply that time, how many days they are in a year, and how many years of life that you've lived, and look at how many hours of your life has been set in front of the one-eyed monster we call TV. Now, it's all right to sit and watch something that's educational. If you're going to be learning from something. But if you're just sitting there watching something just to be watching something, to me, I don't know, maybe I'm different. But that's a waste of human life, you know. And I know the very comment that's going to come up is, well, I'm sitting here watching you. And I get that because, guys, the point I'm trying to make today is we're headed down a spiral tube of destruction. And I want this to be educational. I want us to, to learn that... We can live without drama in our lives and be happy without drama. We don't have to have something going on 24 hours a day in our life for us to be happy. We can just enjoy creation. We can enjoy nature. We can enjoy just being quiet and not hearing the noise. There can be happiness with these things. But sadly... There's a lot of us in this country that doesn't believe that. And the media and the government, or whatever you want to call it, the gatekeepers, whatever you want to call them, it's all about drama today. And I'm really sad that YouTube has gone that way. Because if you're not doing clickbait, if you're not doing the algorithms that are drama-related, you're not getting thrown into the view cycle where people will view you. I mean, our channel is, to be honest with you, our channel is constantly going down. And we try to put out more information about how we do things here to survive. And yet, because we're not doing the drama thing, we're not gaining the subscribers that, you know, that probably should be getting uh, given to us. We're not... Uh, getting a lot of the views like lots of channels that do i mean we watch i'll look through some of the clickbaits and oh my god my dog just did this and twenty-five thousand views over a stupid title that tells me where we're at you know um or oh my god this just happened and you get in the, and there's fifty thousand views to it and yet I flip over to some good homesteading channel that says, this is how we plant carrots. Uh, the best way to plant carrots or the best way to plant green beans or whatever. And, or this is how we butcher a pig or whatever. And there's maybe a thousand views, you know, something like that. And, and it, that just, that irks me to know that our our people have 
literally slip to that status of life that they would rather watch something that <clears throat> is drama related and is mostly a lie to start with because that's what clickbait is is a lie and and then some good information goes by the wayside um, you know if i was to tell people some of the channels that we actually watch they would probably laugh at me you know because they're so tiny and they're they're almost unknowns and, and but yet i can see their heart and soul as to what they're doing and where they're at they're not jet sitting around the country all the time trying to be a part of this or be a part of that they're actually homesteading they're actually trying to make a go of it on their homestead they're feeling their way through and to me that's what it's really all about is learning from one another and not throwing out some kind of stupid senseless information that has nothing to do with homesteading you know but I, I don't know I guess today has just been one of them days for me I just I sit back and I I ask myself the question what's wrong with our people even our homesteading people are doing this and it's, it's 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 all about drama and views and guys the people getting the views should be the ones who's actually living the lifestyle and actually putting out information about how things should really be done or how we do it where we live or whatever and let's just see the different ways because to be honest with you on youtube now i don't see very many people ever planting anything anymore literally they don't put up any videos of any planting i i mean i'm i'm appalled i literally i look and i go what are they doing you know build a greenhouse do something you know i mean on your channel make it make it make it look like you're moving forward with a homesteading lifestyle show us putting the seeds in the ground oh uh, i really liked uh you know tommy and patty alderman the other day had had a video about notching the little pig's ears and i was amazed because to me that's good information about how to keep your pigs separate and how did the little pigs didn't even squeal when they cut the notch in their ears you know and that way you know what pigs or from what mamas and stuff like that that's that's good information things like that the Lori families building a home next to us over here um, I'm trying to help them put in a, what's called a dry basement underneath the home and those are the kind of videos that are good information videos out there that literally help people to see how to do something there's no drama in that that's just pure information to give you a, an idea of what it's supposed to look like you know <clears throat> and i just i don't know i see lots of stuff going on around us and, and i wonder to myself what has happened to people what is going on with our people guys as much trouble as there is in the future for this country for us to be spending all of our time doing stupid stuff that absolutely means nothing we're wasting our time and those of us who literally click on to all these videos because of the drama what does that say about us even and, you know, and I, I have to admit, I've been guilty. I've been guilty of looking at some of the videos out there and go, well, what are they really doing, you know, or what's what's up with that? And, and I catch my own self going down that rabbit hole. But I'm trying to train myself that if a video is clickbait, I just don't even watch it. 
and a lot of the matter of fact I've, I've unsubscribed to many channels that I was already subscribed to just simply because of all the clickbaits and that's sad because a lot of those people were good people and and I'm just uh, I don't know it's who I've become now I'm saddened because of the state of our homesteading community because the direction that our country is headed in and the problems that we're fixing to face in the future we need to be getting all the information we can get as fast as we can get it because at some point this is even this platform is going to go away and people go oh there's no way YouTube is all, will always be around no YouTube will not probably always be around I mean Let's go back and look at all the things in, in life. I mean, MySpace and all these other places that we used to think, oh, this will be, and people jumped on board, and, you know, Facebook will probably go away one day. and uh, You know, YouTube will probably be no different. It'll fade off into the background because there'll be something bigger and better that comes along. And uh, People always said that about the grocery stores, and now, now you have Walmart came in, and a lot of your smaller chain stores uh, have, have gone. Basically, they don't even exist anymore. There's always going to be something bigger and better that's going to take place from something else. And YouTube will probably end up being no different. There's lots of other platforms out there already just gaining ground. And all that's got to happen is the big, the big dogs to, to make a decision to shut her down. And, and it's over. And then all that information is just gone. And that's why it's so important for us to have things on uh, in, in book form or written down form or thumb drives or something. Have stuff saved or backed up on hard drives, external hard drives, something. Have a CD burnt of your, of your favorite um, videos, you know, something other that if YouTube goes away, <clears throat> that you will still have your information out there. So guys, I got to go feed animals. They're sitting here crying this morning. And <clears throat> I got to get back in by a fire for just a minute and get warmed up. Because I do still have a touch of a cold. I'm not going to lie. My sinuses are still a little giving me a little trouble, a little congestion in my chest. But you know what? If you live long enough, you're going to get sick. Nobody's ever made it out of this world without getting sick. So, don't let that fret you or bother you. Keep plugging along. Keep doing what you do. And, guys, get away from drama and start living your life with joy and happiness and peace. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead.